All right, first thing you need to know. Um, what should we call these? Things? These are Mo Better okay. Fun with Ellipses. Much more better fun with ellipses. Um, first thing. Do you know how many times I've been cool? I do, every single day. Um, it's also what is not like us. That's right, and she's never wrong, so don't go there. Um, the highest, lowest, and further, furthest, left, right points are called vertices. I've never really liked this because vertices to me means like a corner. So that bothers me a bit. Wait, hyper is, can I hyper a circle? No. Interesting question, but no. Um, it wasn't that interesting. Okay, so if I say, yeah. let's see, if I say find the equation of the ellipse, Find the equation of the ellipse if, okay, find the equation of the ellipse if, the vertices are at, there are vertices at 0, comma, plus or minus 5, and passes through um, 4, 2. Okay, we have to do some detective work here. Are you ready? Okay. We don't know much about this ellipse. The vertices are 0, plus or minus 5. That means at one end, it's at 0, 5. At the other, it's at 0, negative 5. The vertices are at the ends of one of the axes. So is this describing the horizontal or vertical axis? Vertical. Um, vertical. Vertical. These are both on the y-axis. So I know one thing about this ellipse. It, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Its highest point is at zero, five. Its lowest point <coughs> is at zero, negative five. Do I know if it's longer than it is wide or wider than it is long from this information? No, not yet. Nope. It could be very skinny like a cigar. It could be... Stretch out for miles. I do know it passes through the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. I will label those. Starting to look Thank like you for demonstrating that you can count, Dean. It's starting to look like it's taller than it is wide. It definitely looks like it. Let's see if we can prove it. Um, if its, if it's uh, vertical axis is on the y axis, where is its center? Wouldn't center be at 1, 0, 2? I can't believe it. No, it would be at 4, 0. Interesting. The center of it. Now, it passes through here. We don't know a thing about this point. We don't know that this is a focus. All we know is that it's on the ellipse. But we do know that this is its highest point, and this is its lowest point. Is, now, oh, wait. Is the center where the x and the y meet? The center is where... That's a good way to look at it. The center is where the major and minor axes meet. Okay, and the center also has to be halfway in between, right at the midpoint of each axis. So the center, we so actually know, is at the origin. Oh, so the, but it's the origin. Oh, it's at the center of, it's at the, center of the dominant, um, so whatever, the more, the, like if it's positive, it's wide, then it's the center of the y, wide, then it's... So actually, it's at the center of both. But that's not the center of both. It's now, this, this point is somewhere out, this point's not on an oh. axis. That's not, that's not the, that's the x-axis. Correct. All right. This point does not represent the x-axis. Doesn't. We don't know a thing about it. In fact, we do know the center is at the origin, because the center is always at the middle of both axes. Okay? So this is the point where we're ready to start plugging some stuff into an equation. Wait, what's that point at, the one in the middle of that? This one here? What's, yeah, no. This one? Yeah. This is the point, I'm sorry, I should have labeled that. This is the point 4, 2. And all we know is that the ellipse passes through. So this could be a circle. Could be. This could be a circle. We don't know that yet. Um, now, 
Chris, can you do me a favor and steer me, steer the camera over to this board, since Layla's not there at the moment? Sure thing. Okay. Take it over as the junior cinematographer. And hide or water? No. Um, now, here's what we know about this. Since it passes, the general form of an ellipse is x minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. No, that's all right. That's, that's fine. Okay, God, thanks, Chris. Somebody's head is in the shot. Amy's? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, if it goes through the origin, tell me something about k and h. Um, if it goes through the origin, then k and h are on the x and Counterintuitive. Both counterintuitive shifts, right? Yeah, that's always but if it goes through the or if the center of the ellipse goes through the origin, which we just figured out over there, what are the values of k and h? Zero and zero. Zero and zero. So this is just x squared over a squared. Why did I write that as x? That should have been y. My apologies. Y squared over b squared equals one. Do we know either a or b? Um, not yes. Yes, we. Okay, Sam thinks he knows one. Sam, don't answer this part next. Amy says it's B. We do know B. What is B equal to? Five. Because over here, it went up five.